my back and arms day to day, sitting at 184.8 pounds. We did cut down my calories a little bit for this week because of, I was gaining weight so fast. I didn't want it to be fat, so the calories are a little bit lower this week. I'm also going to be taking a little bit of a break to go coach a football game. So there's going to be about four days this week coming up that I'm not going to be lifting. So we're just going to have to start again after that. For my top set on these single arm pull downs today, I hit 80 by 11, which is one rep more than I usually get. Usually I only get 10. So hopefully that is progress in the right direction and that continues. The back off set, I got 70 by 12, which is just about exactly what I always get. Next, I did the single arm seated cable rows, trying to hit the lats, so I'm trying to keep my elbow closer to my side instead of letting it flare out. You'll see the difference uh, by looking at the next row I do. But here I am keeping my elbow close to my body. I hit 90 for 10 here on the top set, and then 80 for 12 on the back off set. So we are progressing here to 90 by nine was what I got last time I did this. So we're going in the positive direction. Now I stayed on the seated row, but here you'll see I'm letting my, air, my elbows go out to the side more, and I'm sort of trying to make a C with my elbows. So like inverting my back the wrong direction to make the letter C. So my elbows are getting as far behind me as I can. And here I'm doing double arm row. I get 150 pounds for 10 here to start, and then I get 140 pounds by 11 for the back offset. And you can see how my back between my shoulder blades is squeezing together a lot more doing this than it was when I was trying to hit my lat. Now that's all the back workout I have for today. Everything else is gonna be arms. Uh, the arm like order of exercises isn't necessarily that important, so I just sort of go to whatever machine is open. I start off with these machine creature curls with single arm. Doing three sets on all these, I get 40 by 12 twice, and then I get 40 by 10 for the last set. Now top sets are supposed to be important and they don't, you shouldn't be able to repeat it. So the fact that I can get 40 by 12 the second time isn't great, but arms are one of those things that it's hard to do that for. It's really hard to get an arm exercise that just takes you out so much that the next set isn't still good. For triceps, I hit these uh, machine dips and you can see, I really like these machine dips, especially in this shirt. It, my triceps look really big at the top of the movement here. The full stack here is 220 pounds, which is what I'm doing. I hit 12 reps, then 11 reps, then 10 reps on this. I am actively trying to keep my elbows close to my sides and not let them go out, because if I let my elbows go out and then broaden back in, that would be more of a chest exercise than a tricep exercise. Next, I hit these uh, tricep push downs with a rope attachment. I hit 110 pounds for nine here, and then for my other two sets, I just get 100 for 10 on both. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm really trying to keep my elbow in the same place. I don't want my elbow to rock back and forth. I want my elbow to stay right where it is. Next, I'm doing cable drag curls. My three sets are 110 by eight, 100 by, 100 by 10, and then 90 for 12. So I did have to go down in weight every single time here. The big thing about these cable drag curls is the elbow is its opposite of the last exercise. My elbow can move back and forth, that's fine. You just want to be able to keep that bar as close to your body as you can the whole time. And the whole point of doing all these different variations of curls and, and tricep extensions is just to get your arm in different positions so that you're strong in all the different positions your arm could be in. And yes, it will bias a little bit of a different part of the muscle as other exercises, but it's not a big deal. I just want to be strong in all these positions. Next, I'm hitting single arm hammer curls here. 35 pound dumbbell, I get 11, 10, and then nine. And then here is my final exercise of the day. These are the cable cross body tricep extensions. So just getting my arm out to the side instead of in front of me. Uh, you'll see me move around here. This just because I was as I feel the exercise out, I feel where it could be better. Um, and these work really good. These are more of a tricep kickback where my arm is more behind me than it is on any of the other tricep ex exercises I do. 45 pounds here for 12 and then 10.